Hey everyone, it's Coach Johnson, and in this quick video, what we're gonna we're gonna go through our coach versus thrower comparison. Uh, here we have two um, uh, the coach, myself of course, and one of my athletes. Again, I think it's super important for coaches to be able to demonstrate what should be done, and that's gonna be able to communicate. Uh, positions and things much better. Now, one of the things we're looking at when we do this drill, we're going to do our uh, pillar three touch drill, and that's where we're going to do you know a normal wind up. You're going to see some differences in styles. I'm winding up also in anticipation of understanding the drill because it is going to be a slightly different entry. But who did it better? What we want to look at. Um, this is one of my developing throwers. Uh, going to be a senior in high school this year. We're looking for some, uh, you know, 180 to 190 feet this year in the discus and, uh, you know, 58 to 62 feet in the shot. Um, so one of the things we're going to be looking at, uh, he does a lot of good things and we're going to pay attention to, you're going to notice subtle changes. We're going to look at to the amount of time on double support and how we're gonna set up. And so when we set here, we're gonna notice a few different things. Um, his heel is a little higher. And so what this is actually indicating that this knee is almost uh, disproportionately too far in front. We wanna be feeling, again, you wanna be thinking of that quick start like a sprint because that's what this drill is designed to teach is, is when we create the touch, we're creating a better sprint position. And so you're gonna see as we continue to go, how he's kind of dropping down and his hip is staying back. And what we need to be seeing is that hip coming forward. So what that kind of works into, you'll see at this point that the knee really is um, not efficiently, it's in front, but what we have to pay attention to is the angle. And he sets up a good angle, but what you're gonna notice is what's the, gonna be the real test. He's got a good position here. Coach is a little far, uh, too far forward. Um, I like the heel position here. Uh, heel position is a little low. And again, I'm not in throwing shoes, but hey, I won't make too many excuses. Um, so what we do is when we look here though, this is where we're really gonna be able to measure. If you look at the angle of the knee, this is what we wanna see. So you're gonna see that angle here. And what you're gonna pay attention to is that his knee isn't actually as bent and that's one of the things we're going to be working on so his angle it's a it's a pretty nice angle but you're going to notice the next thing is look at the position of the foot and look at the position of his foot and so these are going to be the big changes when this foot's opening and the position of the arms right you're going to see it here as this foot comes down you're going to see now is where you're going to see the big difference at this point, um, the, the delivery, when we go our pillar five to six, um, right here, we're hitting our pillar five and notice the position of the foot and his foot is taking uh, a longer time to get put into that position. So that's gonna change and you're gonna notice that his orbit, is his orbit higher than mine? Well, what you would really be paying attention to is where the angle is and watch as we come through delivery, you're gonna see that I actually have a higher release point. And that is partially due to this. We're getting the, I'm getting the knee ahead, and again, there's an actual more bent, so we have a better vertical stack, whereas as he comes around, it's pretty good, but his chest, his hip isn't directly underneath the shoulder. So that's what we're basically looking at and the coach versus thrower. So who did it better? Well, of course, the coach, um, <laughs> uh, you know, but he's doing a lot of good things. But you're gonna see the touchdown. Again, this is really where you're seeing the big thing, and this is what we teach in the chain reaction. We're looking at where we're setting up, and you're gonna see that at this point, the vertical axis is more loaded, and it's a faster turning axis, you can see where the knee is in relation to his knee because the, my foot has already been down, his foot's here, so my foot can turn into the block faster and harder, and he's gonna still be setting up, and right here's where he can pull, and I've been pulling since this position, and he can't start pulling until this position, and so he's gonna get less throw and less distance in the ring. So, 
good drill to help you do it. This was an improvement upon uh, earlier drills in the training, but again, just a, a two, two kilo discus ball um, throwing into a brick wall. So we're working strength and we're working technical positions. Great way to get in a ton of reps and the uh, pillar three touch and go drill. That's what we call this. Um, it's really designed to make sure you're feeling the proper setup and the ability to uh, move into the throw. Here's what it looks like in full speed. Yes. Okay. See One the difference? Time. So if you like this video, please visit our website, airtaythrosnation.com. Be sure to subscribe and comment below. Thanks so much.